Hi everybody, welcome to our channel, Reptiles, Reptiles with, with love. love. This is Clara, otherwise known as Life of Fish. And this is Scott, otherwise known as my partner. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you all the reptiles that we have so far. So let's go and take a look. So this here is Minnie. She is the very first reptile that I ever owned. She is a Honduran milk snake. As you can see, her colours are just stunning. I fell in love with her first because if you see, it looks like she's wearing a little bandit mask. And I think it's just so, so adorable. But yeah, she is, this is my crazy girl really. Um, she's still quite skittish. Um, she always on the move. <laughs> As you can see, she loves whipping herself around. Even when I'm trying to get her out of her enclosure sometimes, she loves whipping that tail. But yeah, that's mini really. So this is a leopard gecko. It's an eclipse, het bell. She was born on the 5th of May this year. Um, I'm currently trying to fatten her up, ready for the breeding season. She is around 35 grams at the minute. Um, but as you can see, she's got a nice color. She did shed last week. Um, so I have been giving her a bath. Her tail's coming along nicely. She's eating well. Uh, she's healthy and as you can see, she's friendly. She doesn't mind being out of her enclosure. Um, it's lovely and warm at the minute, obviously, where she's been uh, digesting her food from last night. Um, and she's just starting to wake up now. And that's, that's her. So this is our Eastern Blue Tongue Skink. He is about 19 months old. He is still quite new to our collection and he's only after recently shed him so you can see his beautiful colour. But he is not that friendly. Um, he hisses a lot. He's never bitten but he tried to actually the first time last night so that was pretty funny. But as you can see he's got some bit of chunk going on down at his neck. That's from, we believe it's from him being overweight, so we're going to be putting him on diet to hopefully get his health back to the way it should be. And I'm going to put him back into the tank now because as you can see he is getting a bit restless and he does have a tendency to musk on you too. So this is one of my newer additions to the reptile room. It is a western hognose. He is an anaconda he albino male. He's only a small little baby right now as you can see. When I weighed him last he was 13 grams so you can imagine. You can see the size of him compared to my hands. He is just adorable. I love him. He does have a little attitude. He can be a bit hissy and a bit bluffy but he's never actually bit me. So my baby, I love him. This is my boy, he's a tangerine bell albino. He was born on the 6th of July this year. He's quite small in comparison to the female you've just seen, but he's also hopefully gonna be ready for breeding. He is around 27 grams, I do believe. Yeah, his tail's coming nice. He actually eats from the bowl uh, himself, so I don't actually hand feed him because I just guess he feels more comfortable doing it himself. He loves to spend time in his humid hide all the time. Every day he's in there. Uh, and again, he's just waking up. I guess he wants to go out hunting or looking for food, whatever he wants. Um, but yeah, that's all, that's all really on him at the minute. So what we have here is Jafar, my western hognose. He is a normal morph and he is so docile and so friendly. Um, he's actually fully grown at this size. The male hognoses do not get large at all. So if you're looking to keep a snake but you don't want to get too big, hognose is the way to go. 
So these guys actually have toxic saliva. So their toxic saliva isn't actually strong enough to kill humans, but it's only strong enough to kill a predator in the wild. Let's say a toad or a rodent, maybe. I love them. So this is another Western hognose that I own. She is a he albino female. She is a little bit bigger than my boy that I have. But she has beautiful colouring. But the females actually grow bigger than the males in hognoses, so I'm hoping she'll get maybe three, maybe four feet by the time she's an adult. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, go and give it a big thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our future videos.